and welcome back everybody uh, like you just saw I just flew in uh, from Europe from the Felsbrunn farm and now I'm back on what I call the California farm or the Ravenport map and uh, it's still early spring here and I think today I'm just going to go take a drive down to my big planter and uh, see if I can get the GPS loaded and see if we can plant some rows. Uh, it's been a while since I've used that GPS planting mod, so I've got my uh, notebook out in front of me. And we'll just go down there and see if I can get this thing working. Oops, whoa, almost <laughs> sideswiped my planter there. Don't drive while distracted. And yes, my uh, steering feels a little touchy. So anyway, uh, I'm just trying to finish up a uh, contract, uh, planting contract with my big planter. And uh, temperatures have been pretty cold recently, so it's <laughs> I'm gonna need to lower my steering sensitivity uh, at some point. But yeah, we'll just head down there. And I am anxious to start getting stuff planted uh, and get the farm back to looking like uh, like it should with stuff growing everywhere and nice green fields. Uh, I hate seeing stuff like those brown trees that look dead. So, yep, yeah, early spring. Maybe I'll uh, advance the time a little bit so we can get some more green. Some more greenery growing. Uh, since I've got the Seasons mod, uh, maybe skip ahead a little bit. here and I have made a video about this planter before uh, it's going to be in my video history um, I can't remember it's been, uh, it was my tool truck so that was parked uh, I think I left that parked right where the planter was previously and now the planter is all the way down here so that's how much I've gotten done <laughs> uh, since last time so pull off here. And I need to adjust my steering sensitivity somewhere. Thanks. <laughs> Oops. So, oh yeah, my 9520, okay. Could remember the exact, uh, what this tractor is. So we're almost there, got a little bit more to go. Uh, I can't tell if it's just the way the game is making that look or maybe I did plant down there some. I'm gonna go look at that real quick. Uh, of course I could just look at the field map and see how much I do have planted here. If it'll show me that. I think I'm the wrong one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now I have to still finish. Okay. Yep, so that's how much I have left to go. Field number four over here. So, I don't know what that little blue dot is. But yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I may be able to just hire a worker to finish it. Uh, but let me... And oops. Let me just climb in here and get it fired up and try and get this GPS mod working. Okay. Oh. 
it's not launching the menu like I thought it would. I think it's here. Oh, okay, that's the scenes of the menu. my help menu because I am not oh well, that's actually okay satellite uh, the GPS is on oh okay here we go oh the GPS needs to be on for me to access the menu I don't think I need to change any of this I think I can leave all these settings um, yes, I think this is still correct. This will find out, won't we? Oop, stop that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep hitting that. Hire worker by mistake. Okay, i got to remember how to work this planner too. Okay, on off. Not fold. And... Oops. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so the sower is up. Of course, well, I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do a pass along the field edge here so I can leave it up right now. Get my steering turned on. <laughs> Maybe not. Not right now. I need first thing to get this thing turned around. Okay. So, sewer's up, everything's good. Nice and easy. Just get this turned around. I can follow my dots here, so dots are very helpful. Uh, you can see them maybe. It's kinda hard to see, but they're little little dots that are floating right under the tractor right now. And I need to get lined up with the orange one here. And, well, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> it does look a little little awkward, doesn't it? Uh, take turn, but that's what that thing's made for. So I need, say, I need cruise control. I haven't done this in a while. Makes. Oh, okay. Cruise control. Steering activated. Okay, there we go. Nope, you're not. Nope, it's not doing what it should be. Follow this line, please. Should be on this line I'm on right now. Maybe that's, oh, maybe the weight is, oh. <laughs> maybe the weight is the center, but then, why am I not seeing it over there? Something, oh, something's not right. <laughs> oh, let's see. So the GPS menu is not correct right now. Actually, hold on. What is it? Let's continue on here. I don't know what it's going on. Uh, so we got a little bit of overlap right there. 
I mean, what the hell? I'll just <laughs> I gotta start somewhere. So, okay. I'm not gonna back it up. Turn on, lower. Steering's activated. Okay, let's go. I love that sound. It's digging in deep. And the steering wheel does look a little awkward, doesn't it? Going back and forth. But, yeah, I know there's a little bit of overlap there, but I'm trying to get this thing set up. i got to take a look at the GPS menu again and adjust the width. Watch out, birds. I should just finish this field right now. <laughs> I don't have to deal with this again. What are we even planning? Oh, canola. Okay. We got plenty of seed left to finish this. Okay, I'm going to stop it once we get... Yep, oh, there's the beep to turn around. Okay. Oop. Turn off steering, because it's freaking out. Okay, I need to go to the menu now, GPS menu, and maybe this will reset, hopefully. Oh, okay, so width is reset, perfect. Okay, cruise control, let's just turn around, actually I'll go slower than that. Nice and easy turn around here. <laughs> that was a little tight. Okay. Turn around. Okay, so that part's fixed now. We got that figured out. We're going to be on our line, I think. <sighs> Cruise control. Nope, now there's going to be a gap. All right, <laughs> we'll come back and fix that. But at least we got this. At least we got this thing squared away. Sours on. Flanders down. Okay. All right. Now we're now we're rolling. Yeah, that sucks. There's gonna be a gap there. I'll come back and fix that. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe I can bring the tiny planter. To fill in that gap. I used to be really, I used to be pretty comfortable with this GPS thing, but I haven't used it in such a long time. We'll finish this field. There's not much left. Yeah, it's been a while since I've looked at all this stuff. What's my data down there? I like that little cluster, my little information cluster in the right hand, right here, in the bottom right hand. Seed info, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of info information there. Yeah, I'm kind of making a mess of this field, but it's okay. Hey, I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> paid by the landowner. It's okay. So I got to figure out. Yeah, I'm going to have to fill all this in. Well, might as well. Yeah, that's what we'll do. There's my beep. Okay, everything's up, get turned around. That's another nice thing about the auto steering is as soon as I put an input in with the steering, it automatically shuts off. So I don't have to be pressing a button or something except to turn it on, of course, which it probably is better, sh better uh, keyboard. Okay, get it lined up, cruise control on. Tight turns, make me nervous. Okay, we'll get ready to go. So we're on and in the ground. All right, okay, six mile per hour here is what we're planning on. Okay, so now we're okay. Look, so at least we're we're on the line now. Not much overlap, I don't think. 
Yeah, it's like right on the edge there. So we're perfect. Yeah, I goofed up over there. That's right. We'll fix that. So we can finish this now. A couple more passes. We'll go to our map. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cool view right there. <laughs> oh, I let, I've got some... I don't look at lags a little bit. Pretends it's not filling it in. I gotta fill in the edges. We're getting there though. Ready to raise. There's my beep. Leave it in cruise control. There we go. I'm getting a little close to the road here. Whoops. <laughs> there goes the train. Okay, get back on the line here. Try not jerk it around too much. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a tight turn. That's okay. We've got the equipment that can handle that. And get ready to go. In the ground. I don't know, this looks like we're not, okay. Over there, it looked like we there was a gap for a second, but there's not, so we're good. I like to honk for the birds, tell them to get out of the way. I don't want to run over ever anyone. So yeah, I might have to bring in a smaller planter just to fill in those little gaps. I've got a seed drill uh, up at the one shed, the little one, so we can fill in the gaps instead of using this ginormous thing and complete this contract because this has been sitting for a while. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's definitely not a warm day, but it's warm enough to do this, I think. According to the seasons, anyway, I think it's the temperature's okay. Yeah, let's. We can take a look at that. Well. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Yeah. We're in line for where it's good planting season for canola. Temperature's okay. I'm gonna have to run this edge again though with this planter. There's my beep. Okay, leave it in cruise control. Try to make a little bit of a wider turn here. Nice and easy speed. I think six is a pretty good speed to be doing this. Maybe a little slower on the turns, but it's okay. I'm not gonna get back around here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Straight on the line. Auto steer is on. And left that gap just. So we can have clearance for these turns. Oh, don't freeze up on me. In the ground and planning again. Alrighty. We're getting there. A few more passes and I'll be done with this thing. <laughs> I'll go run and get my smaller planter. Fill in the gaps. Maybe I'll buy a small one. I, I think I've, I could even get a really small one, really. Just fill in that strip there. Gotta go take a look. It's been a while since I've looked at my inventory here and what I've got set up. Probably just use the seed drill since it's probably empty. I could do a time lapse too. Speed this up a little bit once I edit this video.
All right, our last line here, and then, <laughs> of course, we're a little bit in the grass there. Look at that. That is probably the result of my skipping the, uh, that's probably the, the perfect width. It's probably the same width as the gap that I left up there when I was uh, being, a, being a fool. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, well, could have been perfect, but <laughs> mistakes happen. And, like I said, I haven't touched this. I haven't been in this machine in a long time and haven't messed with the GPS mod in a long time, so, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, okay, we're almost done. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back on detail plant with the small planter, or maybe the contract will be fulfilled. Let's see where we're at. Okay, 97%, so <laughs> almost there. I'll do that one long pass, uh, fill in the gaps up there, and we'll be good. Okay, get myself out of the roadway here. Or actually, I hate backing up a planter, but you know what? I should, since I gotta get really turned around. I might as well fold it up. Alright, let's fold it up real quick. And we'll make a turn on the road. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying to watch. <laughs> yeah, I love how that... Yeah, that's pretty wild. Okay, we're just going to cut out on the road real quick. And do one more pass. And I won't be needing GPS uh, since it's only mapped for going back and forth um, along the width of the field, and I'm going to do one long pass. Folds up pretty well, I will say. i got to get on the correct side of the road here. Yeah, phew, man. This field has been sitting for a while. Of course, we got traffic coming. I mean, it's, these dots are distracting now. Let me pull off to the side here. Not take out that sign. What the oh well, oh. couple cars coming. Okay. All right, road's clear. It's gonna sit here for a minute. Flashers on. Let's see, let me get my GPS menu off. Or yeah. Okay. There we go. Let them pass. More cars coming. Should just cut across, but I'll wait. So GPS is off. Now we'll just do one nice and easy pass up towards the tool truck up there. And we'll be set. Yeah, look, I <laughs> probably won't have to get a small planter. it will probably say I completed the field once I do that pass. So we'll just go with that since it'll be a real hassle to bring in another planter and oh I just got a notification for helper E finishing a task I'm not sure what that was about helper F has completed a task I'm not sure what's going on there <laughs> that is really strange some kind of glitch okay we're clear Unfold and do one pass up this way. This is gonna have to guesstimate where the center of my center of my row is gonna be here. Yeah, come on. So many different controls, I forget which one. Okay. Oh, unfold is A. All right. We got plenty of seed left. Well, I'm gonna figure out another field I want to plant canola in. Probably one close to the shop, actually. The main shop. That's uh, what's got one swipe of canola. And uh, I might have to move. Actually, I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, just gonna have to cut it over a little bit. <laughs> 
And all right, come up with some kind of straight line. It's funny driving an articulated tractor because it just wobbles back and forth uh, with the slightest steering input. All right, let's get this turned on and cruise control and just try and keep it in a straight line and fill in this final gap that I intentionally left so I could have clearance to turn around the giant planter. Of course we do have some overlap there so I wasn't sure, I don't know if you remember the beeps that I was getting when I was reaching the end of the row but uh, that's supposed to tell me that I can raise the planter uh, to come back and fill in what I'm doing right now later so it gives me the width around the field for doing a pass like this so I'm not overlapping like I'm doing right now so I wasn't sure if that was going to be correct uh, but it looks like it probably might have been that's where probably where the I could have probably shut it off and not have o overlap like this so of course there's a gap there but <laughs> we'll see if uh, We'll see what the contract says. That's what we're going to base this field off of. So, uh, hopefully, by filling this in, it will say we've completed the contract. Even though it's not perfect, sorry. And we are really, yeah, uphill probably. I mean, I've got the horsepower to do it, but yeah, it's like the cruise control is set for six, and we're down to four now, crawling up this hill. But that is pretty amazing, considering that we're pulling this massive, massive thing that's dug into the ground behind us. Now we're dropping down to three. But this is the tractor for the job. Make sure my staying on that edge there. Love that sound. This is why I bought this. <laughs> It's got the power to do this. Cut it in just a little bit. And once I reach the end of this, maybe I'll, or maybe before then, I'll get a notifi notification saying that I've completed this field, which is going to be pretty nice to get this finally done. More overlap here. Yep, I know. It's probably going to be stuck at 99%. <laughs> Just plant the rest of the seeds by hand. <laughs> Get a shovel. If I could do that. There. All right. Let's see. Our contract says we completed. Oh, okay. It says we completed it. Wow, finally. No joke, this has been sitting forever. Finally done. Finally, finally done. Okay. I think this is, yeah, one of the bigger fields in the map. So, all right. Done. I forget what I was going to do earlier. i got to fold this thing up. I might as well just leave it parked here for a little, for a little bit. Go down and get the truck. And this video is probably long enough anyway, but yeah, finally done. Wow, that's that's great. <laughs> Splinter's been sitting over here for a long time. What are our temperatures? Where's my temperature? Oh, okay, 93. Okay. Pull that aisle for a bit. Watching that cool temperature. I don't even think you can even see it. It's right above the kilometer uh, trip gauge, so we're at 87 Celsius. Of 
climb back up again. Okay, there we go. 85 degrees Celsius. We'll shut her off at that. And that is such a sweet sound. <laughs> Hearing this thing power down. All right. Great. We're done. Walk down here. Completed field, finally. Now I might uh, speed up the season a bit. And let's get some of these trees looking. I think, I think these trees changed to green. I can't even remember. It's been... It's been a while since I have uh, seen seen this map during the summer. Hmm. That's my. I'll run down here, run down, get my Duramax, leave the tool truck here, and head on back and complete this video. Great. Well, thanks for riding along with me, if you're still here, and we'll head on back, and uh, yep, I'm going to do some work on this farm, and then probably head back to Europe, and the uh, Felsbrunn map, I think I'm saying that correctly, hopefully. Okay, yeah, steering sensitivity is much better, so that steering setting is what I needed to adjust. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Getting this map looking a little better as far as everything not looking dead because it's we just merged out of winter and early spring, so but uh do got some greenery going on. I love I love doing the oil seed radishes, the cover crops just permanently green. Um so that's always nice to see. And has real world benefits, uh leaving a cover crop on the field. It's definitely something uh that is uh has a lot of benefits. So instead of just leaving a brown dirt field and losing your soil with heavy rains or all that different stuff. So get through here. And yeah, wow that's I honestly didn't didn't uh anticipate getting that done, but uh just had a couple more passes really. And now I gotta figure out what I want to do next. So I've got that, I don't know if you can see way over there in the distance, the uh, bright green is my, uh, was my corn field, I believe, uh, the one year that I did harvest. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with the helper here. I've got a wage payment for something. But uh, yep, yeah. and we're back. I'll leave this truck here, so. And uh, yeah, figure out what my next project is, but I think that's enough for this video. And all right, cool. Thanks for watching. We got that done. That's pretty great. Field contract completed. Got some money in the bank, and or maybe I haven't got paid yet, but um, yeah, finally done. I'll see you guys in the next one.